Hello, let us see how changes from plugin make changes in the application. Currently, we are on the admin of WooCommerce Store. Click on App Setting. It will redirect to App Setting page of PGS Woo API plugin. Here so many options available to customize your mobile application. Let us start with the primary logo change. From here you can change the primary logo of Siya Shop application. It will affect on header logo of application. Click on edit button to change header icon. Or you can remove the icon from your application. Let us check the current logo on the application. Change logo to any other image. Click on Save Changes button. Let us reload a page in the application. Now the logo is changed to the logo that we change in admin. Before secondary logo change, let us change logo to original logo. Click on secondary logo. From here you can change the logo in about us page. Click on the edit button. Before changing logo let us see the current logo in the application. Now change the logo and click on save changes. Now reload the page on the application. Open About Us page. So now the logo is as we set in admin. Now let us check app color option. From here we change theme color of application. There are three options available that are header color, primary color, and secondary color. Header color is for the header of application. The primary color is for font color. And the secondary color is for button background. Let us change the color of application. Select header color. Now select the primary color. Now select the secondary color. Click on Save Changes button. Now reload the page in the application. So you can see that color that we change in the plugin is reflect in the application. Now let us see the main category change. Click on Main Category tab. From here setup for the main category for the header is done. Change image of the first category. Click on change image button. Click on save changes button. Now reload the page in the application. So now you can see the change in an image of man category. Like this, we can make changes for all another category. Even we can add or remove the category. Click on home slider banner. Now let us change home slider banner. From here you can add or remove the slider from the application. Currently, there is only one slider image is available. Check in the application. Now add another slider image. Select category to redirect in the application.
click on Save Changes button. Now reload home page of the application. So the changes that we made in the slider is reflected in the application. Now click on Category Banner. Here we can add or remove Category Banner. Let us change the image of Category Banner. Change image or any other content of Category Banner. Click on Save Changes button. Now reload the page on the application. So you can see that banner image and text is changed. Let us again change it back. Now click on banner adds to add or remove banner in the application. Let us change the image of the banner. Click on Select Image button. Click on Save Changes button. Now reload the page on the application. Now you can check the banner of application. Changed banner is visible on the home page. Now click on Feature Box button. From here you can add or remove feature box to the application. Let us check current feature box in the application. Now change data in feature box. Let us add a feature box in the application. Add a description of it. Click on Save Changes button. Now reload the page in the application. So you can see that on more feature is added to the application. You can enable or disable feature box from admin. Disable feature box. Click on save changes. Now reload the page in the application. You can see that the feature box is no more available. Now again enable feature box from admin. Click on save changes. Now reload the page in the application. So now feature box is available on the home page. Click on app pages. Here you can add pages to the application. First three are about us. We can check this from account page, in that about us tab is there. Here the content that we set in About Us is reflected. Now for Terms and Conditions page, click on Terms and Condition button in the Applications About Us page. From here terms are displayed according to admin setup. Click on Privacy Policy to check Privacy Policy data as set up in admin. Now the other pages are for information. You can add or remove those pages from admin. These pages give a reflection on the account page. Remove one page. Click on Save Changes button. Now reload the page in the application. You can see that the page that we removed is no more available on the account page. Now click on Checkout page. From here you can select your checkout page. Let us see current page. Click on continue button to check out, here you can check the page that we set in admin. Now change page and click on save changes button. And reload the page on the application. 
Now click continue to check the page. Now page is set as we set in admin. Click on social links. Here you can set up social links for the application. Currently, there are six social links are set. Now check in the application. You can check all six links. Now remove one link. Click on save change button. Now reload the page in the application. Now check the options for all social links. Now you can check that the link that we removed is released. Now click on contact info button. You can see that the detail of address is displayed. Now change detail to the address. Click on save changes button. Now reload the page. Check address in the application. So the changes that are made by admin is giving a reflection in the application. This many customizations of the application are available through the admin.